Welcome to the Joint Appendix JA8 Performance Requirements for Residential Light Sources video, where you'll learn about California's Building Energy Efficiency Standards, also known as the Energy Code. We'll go over residential light sources that must be certified to the California Energy Commission as compliant with JA8 in order to be classified as high efficacy, relevant lighting terms and definitions, the specific JA8 performance requirements, light source labeling requirements, and light source testing requirements. First, let's discuss the residential light sources that must be JA8 certified in order to be classified as high efficacy and compliant with the energy code. These include light sources installed in ceiling recessed downlight luminaires, Remember, no screw-based lamps are allowed in recessed downlights, and any other light source which is not automatically classified as high efficacy. For example, indoor LED luminaires, screw-based LED lamps, and pin-based LED lamps. Now that we know which light sources must be JA8 certified, Let's go over a few lighting terms so you can better understand the requirements. First, let's define efficacy. Efficacy describes how much light output is produced by a source per unit of electrical power. It is measured in lumens per watt. The greater the efficacy of a light source, the more energy efficient it is, since there is more light output for the energy used. The Color Rendering Index, or CRI, is an industry standard for measuring how accurately a light source renders the colors of objects it illuminates compared to reference light sources for daylight of the same correlated color temperature. The CRI value is an average of the individual reference color palette values, known as R1 through R8. The maximum CRI value is 100. The reference color palette R9 is used to measure how a light source's spectral output renders vibrant reds. This is an important consideration when illuminating items with natural reds, including some skin tones, food, and wood. Correlated color temperature, or CCT, is the absolute temperature of a blackbody radiator whose chromaticity most nearly resembles that of the light source. This means that light sources with a low CCT emit light with a warmer appearance, and those with a high CCT emit light with a cooler color appearance. Dimming is a lighting control method that varies the light output of a source from full light output to off. Dimming also reduces the amount of energy consumed by a light source. Flicker is a relative measure of the cyclic variation in output of a light source. Flicker can be visible or it can occur at frequencies too high for the human eye to detect. Visible flicker is often distracting and can even cause headaches or vision problems in extreme cases. Now that we're familiar with the lighting terms, let's take a look at the JA8 requirements, which include minimum performance thresholds for luminous efficacy, power factor, start time, correlated color temperature, average color rendering index and R9, lumen maintenance, survival rate, dimming, reduced flicker operation, and audible noise. To qualify as a high efficacy light source under Joint Appendix JA8, light sources must have a luminous efficacy greater than or equal to 45 lumens per watt. The power factor must be greater than or equal to 0 0.90 at full light output. Light source start time should be less than or equal to one half second to prevent delays between applying power and the start of the illumination. The CCT should be less than or equal to 4000 Kelvin. The CRI must be greater than or equal to 82 for Title 20 regulated lamps and greater than or equal to 90 for all other lamps. The R9 must be greater than or equal to 50 for all products other than Title 20 regulated lamps. 
the lumen maintenance must be equal to or greater than 86.7% of the initial output after 6,000 hours of use. Or, if interim data is being reported, it must be equal to or greater than 93.1% after 3,000 hours of use. A minimum rated lifetime of 15,000 hours. Survival rate requirements also state that 90% of tested units shall be operational for the duration of the test. All JAH sources must be dimmable, and all LED light sources that can dim using a method called forward phase cut dimming must comply with requirements issued by the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, or NEMA, in NEMA SSL-7A-2015. Light sources and specified controls are also required to provide reduced flicker operation when tested at 100% and 20% of full light output in accordance with the test method in Joint Appendix JA-10. And last, light sources must adhere to reduced audible noise requirements to minimize humming or buzzing. The light source must not emit audible noise above 24 decibels when measured one meter away from the source at both 100% and 20% light output. These requirements have been put in place to ensure that the light source and controls work together to deliver a well-lit residential space. In addition to these performance requirements, JA8 compliant products must also adhere to labeling requirements to help enforcement agencies, contractors, and consumers easily identify high efficacy products. For light sources to qualify as high efficacy under JA8, they must include either a JA8 2019 or JA8 2019E marking on the lamp or luminaire. Lamps or luminaires marked with JA8 2016 or JA8 2016E are also acceptable. Light sources marked with JA8 2019E have passed the elevated temperature life test, indicating that they are in compliance and may be installed in elevated temperature applications, such as in enclosed and recessed fixtures. To verify that their products meet all specifications of JA8, manufacturers must test their products at an accredited test laboratory. Energy Commission approved test laboratories can be found in the company search area of the Appliance Efficiency Database. The tests that must be performed by an accredited test laboratory include efficacy, power factor, start time, color characteristics, lumen maintenance, rated life, survival rate, dimming, flicker, and audible noise. The test results and product information are then submitted to the Energy Commission using the modernized Appliance Efficiency Database System to certify that the light source meets all JA8 requirements. Once the results are processed in the system, the product is listed in the database for use in California. Let's review what we've learned. Light sources that must be JA8 certified include any light source not automatically qualified as high efficacy, such as light sources installed in ceiling recessed downlight luminaires, indoor LED luminaires, screw-based LED lamps, and pin-based LED lamps. Lighting terms referenced in JA8 were defined to help explain the purpose of the requirements, and Manufacturers must test products at an accredited test lab and submit results to the Energy Commission to certify that their products comply with JA8 requirements. That wraps up our review of the Joint Appendix JA8 performance requirements for residential light sources. For more information, visit the Energy Commission website at energy.ca.gov forward slash title 24 forward slash ORC.